Hi there! Welcome to the Cave of Bad Ideas. This is where we learn how to do the right thing by sometimes doing the wrong thing. And today we've got a very special episode. We're going to learn about a new technology known as friction shifting. It's where you use a little shifter like this and the power of friction, which is science, to shift your gears, which is also science. But before we get into this magical land of friction shifting, it's time for reader mail. So the first letter comes from a viewer responding to our previous video here at the Cave of Bad Ideas. Gregory Haltman writes, for the B-screw problem, maybe put an M5 nut with nylock or Loctite on the end, question mark? Well, Gregory, no, I'm not gonna do that. You see, using the GX derailleur in our last video was already a bad idea, and this sounds like a bad idea on top of a bad idea. Scott Booth writes, Flip the B-screw around and see if it's less sketchy. Scott, no. I can tell you without even trying, just using my mind, that uh, it would not be less sketchy. Sam, Sam Pruden writes, you could put a nylock. <laughs> Sam Pruden writes, you could put a nylock nut or two nuts and a washer on the end of the B-screw for the 10-speed GX derailleur to prevent it from skipping over the lever. That sounds like Scott's idea had ugly sex with Gregory's idea and gave birth to your idea. I don't think we're gonna do that either in this video. Scott Cotton writes, looking at the B-screw issue, this seems to be a... <laughs> Scott Cotton writes, looking at the B-screw... <laughs> Scott Cotton writes, looking at the B-screw issue, would it be possible <laughs> to flip the screw around so that the head is against the tab of the derailleur. The head is bigger than the end of the screw and should hit the tab better, and it looks like it might even give it a little bit more clearance. Harder to adjust, and you probably want to use Loctite. But once it's set, it's set. Scott, no. That falls under the category of ideas that would work for a short amount of time before failing in the worst possible way. And I think that's it for today's reader mail. If you would like to send a comment, Write it down on a postcard and send it to this P.O. Box address. And if we receive it, we might just read it here on the air. Isn't that exciting? Well, let's move on to our lesson of the day on friction shifting. 